beans. I'm going to use about a cup and a half of beans. Enough so that when they're soaked, they'll fill the container. The beans have soaked and now they're ready to cook. The biggest challenge with cooking beans is that they tend to foam, so we want to use a pot that's more than large enough to hold them. It's also difficult to control the heat on a fire, so we want to use more than enough water. Leave the lid askew a little bit to let the steam escape so that it doesn't foam so much. Beans will foam when they boil, but if you skim off the foam, they'll be better behaved afterwards. The other main ingredients are tomatoes, onions, and garlic. I use about a pound of tomatoes, one medium onion, and about a tablespoon of garlic when I mince it. For spices, I'll use ground black pepper, about a tablespoon of cumin seeds, and three or four red chili pods. The next step is to chop everything. I'll chop the onions and garlic and put them together. I'll finely mince the red peppers, I'll leave out the seeds, and put them in with the cumin. And I'll dice the tomatoes. Add some oil. I don't really want the pot to get too hot this time. I'm going to try to cook on fairly low heat, though with this fire as hot as it is, that's going to be difficult. So the first thing I add is the cumin seeds with the chopped chilies. Cook those briefly to become aromatic. Don't want them too cooked, we don't want them browned. Then the onion and garlic. I don't want to sear. I don't want to sear this. I don't want to cook it too hot. Ideally, I'd cook this on low heat, so that the oil becomes infused with the flavors of the spices and the garlic and the onion. Looks like the fire is cooperating, as I hoped. It's burned down to coals pretty well. So on fairly low heat, I'll be able to get the onion and the garlic and the spices nice and mulled together. This may take some time. Okay, I think that's nicely melded together. It's becoming quite fragrant. Add the black pepper now because it's so finely ground. I want to cook it just briefly to develop the flavor just a bit. Then quickly Add the tomatoes. Now I can crank up the heat. We want to cook down the tomatoes. The tomatoes are starting to cook down. They're becoming tender and more juicy. With a little stirring, the tomato pieces are pretty much unrecognizable. Just a few chunks that I can still tell are tomatoes. I'm impatient, so that's good enough. Add a little salt, maybe half a teaspoon. And the cooked beans with their cooked water. Cover it, wait for it to come to a boil, and then let it simmer until the flavors all come together. This looks pretty nice. It's boiling merrily away. Let it boil a bit longer, maybe thicken, and we'll have some chili. I like to serve it over brown rice, which I can get in the capital. It's taking quite a while, but it's thickening. Getting closer to what I want for chili. Coming along nicely. 
thickened. Very little sign of tomatoes. Beans have made a nice gravy. We're ready to serve.